My name's Matt, um, also known as SecureD. I'm from Melbourne, Australia, and I guess I'm most well known for customizing sneakers and vinyl toys. Uh, I've been doing that for about eight or nine years now. Um, I have a graffiti background, no formal art training, but um, you know, that's sort of what I make a living doing. Basically, I, uh, I was collecting sneakers at the time. I've got about 450 pairs of shoes and I was just getting sick of, you know, people lining up and reselling and, you know, the sort of, my heart sort of fell out of it when I saw that people were just using it to make money rather than like the love of the product. So um, I sort of decided at that point that uh, why spend $700 on a pair of shoes or $1,000 on a pair of shoes that was like limited when there's actually probably five or 10,000 pairs in the world and then you could actually see someone else wearing them down the street when you were wearing them as well. I always have this thing that when I wear sneakers I like to like, I like to have sneakers that nobody else does or I like to wear shoes that nobody else does so um, you know and then I was like well I might as well just make a pair myself so I painted an all white pair of dunks in the theme of Hardigan from Sin City and uh, it just, just you know off my own bat I have a friend uh, who was doing customising as well and uh, he gave me a tip about a local brand of paint to use and then uh, it all sort of just went from there. It was a hobby uh, and then it sort of just sprawled into a career. I never got into this to make money or to do it for a living or to design shoes or toys. I kind of just did it to have my own shoes. So um, it's great that my hobby turned into my job, but uh, it definitely wasn't my initial sort of motivation. Yeah, so I'd been customizing sneakers for about, you know, maybe six or seven years before I started customizing vinyl. Um, you know, heavily. I'd done the, a few odd bear bricks and, and sort of monies and stuff, but never really seriously. It was always just to accompany a sneaker or always like a giveaway or a gift for, for a friend or something. So uh, I collected action figures a lot uh, and I've always collected something and uh, and sort of I'd had a few dunnies, but never really collected it. I had a few like mine style pieces, a few just bits and odd ends and then uh, I don't know how, like one day I just, I think I just bought a case of Dunnies and um, and sort of decided that it would be a cool way to sort of add on to a pair of sneakers and uh, and then at the time there was this guy who was buying a lot of my work and he asked me to do some Chicago Bulls uh, sort of versions of my artwork. I'd already done three solo art shows and I do these like robot style characters and ghosts and I thought it would be a good way to translate my 2D art into 3D. So uh, that's how I started getting into vinyl. Uh, once again it wasn't really to make money. I, I I sort of was just doing as like an add-on or, or just for fun really to see what my characters looked like in real life to be able to hold them. Uh, and then, you know, I just started posting them online and things, you know, have just gone crazy. I can't make them fast enough now. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's heaps of fun and, and it's a great break from the canvas and, and sneakers as well. It's really cool to add sort of an extra thing to my repertoire and um, it breaks my day up as, uh, as well, like, you know, as you can imagine, painting robot arms on shoes for 10 or 12 hours a day gets repetitive, so it's, it's a good change. To customise a pair of shoes, I guess the most important thing is the first step, which is acetoning the shoe. I generally only paint the leather panels. You can do mesh and suede and nubuck and stuff, but it doesn't last or you can't get the same, like, you know, clarity of line with a lot of those materials, so, um, you know, the acetoning the leather to make it porous and to, taking, to take the factory seal off is an extremely important step that I guess people generally skip when they're starting. You get so excited about customizing shoes or, you know, you have this awesome design that you want to do and you just want to jump straight in to start painting, but if you don't prep the shoe properly, then the paint won't bond and it'll flake off when you wear it, so all your hard work's for nothing. So, yeah, you acetone the shoe first and then uh, and then you paint very thin coats of this paint called Angelus. It's the, it's the main paint people use. It's actually an acrylic that's made for leather, so it's flexible and uh, it lasts and it bonds really well to the leather and then you seal it with a varnish. Uh, people do different kinds of varnishes. I use a Liquid X matte varnish which I brass on. And then, uh, and then yeah, the shoes, you know, if painted well uh, and prepped well and varnished well are just as durable as any other pair of shoes. So um, yeah, that's, that's the basic step-by-step -step process. There's a million other things you can do, but if you wanted to start painting shoes tomorrow, I'd say they're the, like, they're the important steps to take. People ask me all the time where I get my inspiration from and, and it's, I give, always give people a different answer because I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I guess that I can only really say it's a combination of things that I'm interested in. Or, or what I'm sort of feeling at the moment uh, that I'm painting. So um, I'd say between like comic books, movies, graffiti, um, they'd probably be the top couple of things. Uh, you know, I'm always watching movies and documentaries. Uh, I'm watching a lot of space documentaries at the moment. So there'll be a lot of like space themed work 
coming up uh, and then you know I, I don't have any formal art training uh, and so all my art stuff has come through uh, all my art knowledge and has really been self-taught so it's been through the graffiti background which is why there's a lot of bold bright colors and and sort of clean straight lines uh, and that sort of blends over to my appreciation and, and love for comic books as well so I'd say that's uh, that's sort of where the majority of my ideas come from when, with, with the little robots and all that sort of stuff uh, I guess uh, I wrote this big narrative, I created like a world of secure D so to speak uh, where these little guys exist and essentially robots take over the world and then decide that now they've conquered they have nothing better to do than imitate the lives of humans so they, uh, they go and sort of recreate everyday activities and, and participate in their own sort of little microcosm of happiness I'd suggest so uh, it's yeah it's weird and it's long and I, I don't think I'll ever publish it but it's a um, it's sort of where I take ideas from and uh, it's yeah it's kind of hard to explain other than that I used to drink a lot which I don't do anymore and then uh, and yeah I say you know you're just sitting in a room by yourself watching cartoons and docos you know things just pop into your head it's a really hard process to describe if I if I knew where it came from I would nail it down and and just have it on tap all the time I guess it's it's always changing Oh wow, if I could design sneakers for anyone that was fictional, I have a, such a tough question. Uh, I like to think when I design, so I do a lot of themed custom work and uh, what I generally try and do is design the shoes in a way that matches their personality or their style. So you can see a pair of shoes and go, oh that's for Wolverine without having to put a picture of Wolverine on the shoe. If I could pick any one fictional character, uh, Spawn, I guess. Spawn's the first comic book that I bought regularly. It's the first comic book that I really got addicted to buying. Um, the artwork was so incredible and ahead of its time. Uh, the story of its production and uh, how Todd McFarlane started it is fantastic. I mean, look, I mean, you could choose anyone, but I guess Spawn is probably the reason I got into graffiti more heavily to do artwork and the reason that I'm so into comic books. So. I guess it would have to be Spawn. I mean, I there's a million I would love to do. And if you check my website, there is like 30, 40 at least. Uh, I'm doing a bunch of Watchmen shoes at the moment because I'm obsessed with Watchmen. I met Dave Gibbons at Comic-Con and I have a Watchmen tattoo on my back. Uh, so I'm, I've ticked them off the list. So probably Spawn, I think Spawn would be amazing. I'm currently really busy uh, with work. It, it's There's a lot of like non-disclosure agreements, scenarios, which I can't talk about. But I guess uh, I'm really working towards putting together a massive solo exhibition. I guess that's something I really want to achieve in the next year to year and a half. Uh, I've done three solo exhibitions, but to be honest, I haven't really been happy with them to this point. They've been rushed or I haven't had amount of time to do it. Um, I have a plethora of custom work at the moment um, piled up at home. Um, so when I get back to Australia, it's, the next three months are crazy. There's so many group shows coming up. and and online exhibitions and, uh, I, and that that's that. I guess the brand stuff is really tough to talk about just because you don't want to jeopardize the project uh, or leak the information too early, but there should be some major brand stuff um, that you could see from me in the future, but projects I'm working on today you won't see for a year to two years. Uh, people don't realize, you know, a pair of shoes can take, you know, 16 to 24 months to hit, fa uh, to hit like a shop floor from, you know, the initial design phase. So it is a really lengthy process. I mean, I could die tomorrow, you know, fingers crossed that doesn't happen, but security products could still be, you know, still, could still come out for the next 12 months. So there's, uh, there is some big stuff in the works. I guess uh, if you want to know more about what I do or check out um, some pictures of my custom work, you can check out uh, SecureD, which is S-E-K-U-R-E-D.com um, online. I have a Facebook group and all the social media stuff. Everything's linked from the website. The website's mostly dedicated to my sneakers, but if you are into vinyl toys, there's a section on the right-hand side which will take you to my Flickr and has everything on there. I have a tramped profile and uh, pretty much if it's social media I got it so you can uh, find it all on there. Um, there should be some videos coming up from the tour around the United States as well so uh, stay tuned it's going to be a busy busy year online uh, for me so check it out.